Hi guys, so today I have a sponsored video for you from Tonic Studios for their brand new showcase. It's called the Terrific Triple Towers Die Set. I want to get that right with all those T's and alliteration there. Um, really fun set. You can use it to create uh, several different types of towers, right? So you saw the uh, one in the thumbnail today. I think I'm going to do the like lighthouse look. Um, but you can also do these towers that have like staircases or that have like... Um, excuse me, or what might make like a windmill looking tower, uh, just lots of fun ways to play with it. So of course, in a combination of any of those things. Um, so these items were sent free of charge in my review, and of course all opinions are my own, and any links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you are purchase items through those links. So with their showcase, it generally comes with magnetic mat and a plastic like carrying case, some um, instruction if need be, and of course generally with the showcases they do need it, because as you can see all these pieces, you want to know how to put it together. Today we'll run through, um, Again, the lighthouse, so uh, it's basically the same construction for most of them. It just might have a little bit different top or something like that, but mostly it's the same construction. So uh, for a lighthouse, I think I'm gonna, going to make my base pretty much white, red accents, um, black like railing, things like that. So uh, as I look at this, and some of the instruction here shows that for our bottom tier, and then the top tier, and then it has a very top one that's, you know, again, triple tier, right? So. The bottom tier, let's look down here. Just want to make sure I have the right pieces to share with you uh, as far as which one's which. So we have this guy, and I want you to see that this is a little bit larger than this one, right? So base tier, middle tier, and the very top one is like this part. You know, just depending on what you want to use, but um, it would be this one. You might mix and match with this piece or this piece over here, but for me today, I believe I'm using this piece. Um, but let's focus on these other pieces before we get too far. So bottom tier, again, the larger one, this top tier. You're going to need six of these from whatever base color you're using. Of course, I said I'm going to use some really nice white paper, some sturdy, heavy-duty white paper. So I'll be right back. But you need six of this one, six of this one. You need the box base that is... So this one here, so this is what they call the little tray. We'll get this in just a minute, but you do need the box base, which is basically this one. And you can always see this tray is at the very base of your tower. Um, and then once you've constructed this, it sits inside of that. So it's this die for your box base that's gonna go with this larger piece. So we have those. Um, we're gonna need two of the tray. So two of these, you can see it has this part that makes like a frame, a hexagon frame. Um, and you're going to need it twice because you're going to need this opposite side. So you're just going to layer them together like this and then you'll have these guys over here too. So you need two of that, whatever your base color is. You know, maybe for that one I'll do black just to do something different. So let's do black from that. White, white, white. Again, six pieces, six pieces. Uh, one of this guy, and it goes with the larger piece. And then two of these in black. And... Um, Let's just start there. I believe we might need another base piece because obviously when you stack them, uh, this one to this one, but we'll see. It, it might just be the, the look of it, right? But I'll be right back. As always, I run through as many pieces at a time so I can get everything cut um, more quickly. So we have uh, the six pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, did it say over here? Yeah, the smaller one. And then I have these guys, one, two, three, four, four, five, six. So we have six of each. So for the larger one, we're going to attach it to this base piece. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just take a moment to go around and score everything. Basically everything's scoring in. And then these guys kind of probably will be out like that. But for now, I'm just going to score these. So all these three on the very side in. Just have it ready and I'll be right back. All scored. And basically they're saying the first thing is to go ahead and glue these to your base piece. Um, this side looks nice. You're, you're not going to be able to see really inside the tower because it's so tall. So it's not the biggest deal if you do it that way or this way. I am just going to have the nice side facing up. When we create our little um, base pieces, these guys that are going to be glued together, basically this is just going to sit inside of that. So just to make it sturdier, I'm putting my glue on this side. And we'll glue these guys down. And I always like to glue them nice and flush right on that edge, making sure it's not impeded in any way. Just on there. Now popping on the outside does make it a little bit 
wider, right? Because it's on the outside, it's not on the inside. If I was to glue it in here, it might bring it in a little bit. But I am putting it towards the outside, and that's just my preference. And um, so the instructions showing just to go ahead and do all your glue tabs. I'm going to go ahead and turn this over. I'll do the next one. Right around here. And then when you're done, you're going to glue up the sides, of course, or tabs. So for now, again, just staying right along that edge. And we'll glue down all six tabs. So I'll lay it down, give it a moment, and then I'll check on the other side just to make sure it's where I want it. See, it's a little too close, so now I can back it up a little bit. There we go. That one closes. This one closes. Okay. And I'll attach the other ones. Again, I'm attaching on the rough cut side, and I'll be right back. Just, you know, setting, drying again, just making sure they all aren't impeded by how I attach them. Um, we're going to glue these guys together, and these guys, these are the, the middle section. Um, we're going to glue them together basically here. So like, you know, you can imagine these pieces are just kind of up like this. So I'm not really bending or folding those score lines quite yet, but I will score these. Um, of course, on Tonic's um, instruction, they will say to, you know, if you want to decorate them right now that the pieces are flat, you want to go for that. I always decorate when everything's put together. I don't know. That's just me. So right now I'm just folding these glue tabs more than anything, and I'll be right back. And with these guys, all we are doing I just moved on to this middle section. We'll go back to this in just a minute, but basically we're just gluing these tabs. And so I will put glue on that tab, the top tab, this bottom tab, bring the new one over, and glue those down. Again, paying attention to everything here. Now, there we go. On this side, just looking at where my tabs crease there. Just bring it together. Okay, and let's go from there to this one. You can definitely use a bone folder on your score lines, of course. Just gonna bring this other one over, and once it starts looking like I need to, you know, stretch a certain way, like these score lines, then I will do that. I'm pretty sure this bottom part that's a little bit wider is gonna go in like this, and this guy needs to go up like that. You know what I'm saying? So a little bit in. But for now, what we're doing is just gluing these guys together. Okay, so as you go along, again, these base pieces are probably going to go out. This piece needs to go up. So just a little bit. Just give them a little flex, just so that when you go to glue them, you have it going. You can kind of tell here how it's like, boop, and then in, and then up again. Looks pretty good. And I'll glue this guy. And possibly bring that guy over. And this top piece. Let me get this one going. Once it starts taking the actual shape, like I said, you're going to start feeling kind of where these need to go. Like this needs to go like right here. Okay, I'll place one more and then I'll come back when I get to the end to attach it into the uh, shape. Okay, so I came back around to the beginning here and basically we're going to glue these guys. That's, you know, just getting that shape and then you can train it a little bit whenever we get to this next point here. But let's go ahead and glue these guys. Now you can glue these two tower pieces together or you can just leave them separate but one nests on top of the other. And that's totally part of your customization, what you want to do. Let me get this guy going a little bit this way. And see, all I did was kind of bend it down on that score line. The reason this doesn't match up quite is because I was trying to just use one sheet of paper. And when I went to die cut this, I was like, eh, it's okay if that little bit is just missing. So that's why <laughs> it's like that. Um, that was totally me. Okay. And again, just matching up those ends. And that looks great. So we have this. I'm not going to mess with it yet because it's still a little bit wet. And what we can do is, you know, form it when we need to. We'll come back to this guy, and we're basically doing the same thing. We're going to glue those tabs, and then up to this area. And of course, I guess this one's kind of up. Like when it's up like this, it's kind of going to go like this. So you can just kind of train it that way when you go to glue it together. 
so that your pieces come in really nicely. And just matching up those sides. I kind of hold on to this longer part first. I did that same thing with the, these guys. I kind of held on to that middle part before I did the last little bits, little bits, these little glue tabs. Okay, so then those guys. All right, so together there, and then these guys come together. And so next thing, and just go around and glue them into your hexagon shape. Again, kind of massaging this longer portion here first. Longer glue tab, and then I just kind of boop <laughs> these guys. Okay, I'll do the same thing all around again, just like this one. Just went around and glued it all together. You can kind of keep in mind, you know, how you want to form this. Do you want this on top or in the inside? I would say it should go over the top of this base one because that's how I would see it. But if you want to form it so this goes inside, I guess that's possible. But I'm pretty sure this goes on top of this one. Um, but we will play with that in just a minute. So we're going to put those to the side. And then we have these guys. And, um, you know, there's a nice side where the die came in and all that. So I'm just going to start scoring these. Again, I just use my hands. Um, let me see that straight or is it... Okay. So I want to see if this score line is supposed to be straight or a little bit curve them, but it's, nope, they're just all straight. So straight across, straight across, straight across, and folding these guys in. I'll do that for both of them, and then we'll glue them together and get them in that frame position. Just a little bit here. Okay. So we're going to lay one of these guys inside the other, so let's go ahead and do that. And then you're just going to curl it up in that little frame kind of position. So I'm going to put glue right along the edge, especially on this outer one, these guys. And give it a little bit of a zhuzh, kind of get that glue going. And just make sure that's all squared up. I'm just going to hold those down, and then we're going to curl these in to make our little frame. Something like that. How cute! Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to close up a little bit for y'all. And they're just recommending to put glue like down on this piece, I believe. Hold on, let's make sure. Yeah. So the piece that's going to be touching the base, which is basically that last tab. And I don't know if you saw as I curled it, I'm not going to, I don't want to put glue all over the place. But what's nice is the way they created this, that this piece overlaps here. So when this piece curls in, it's going to be touching there and it looks really nice and like mitered. Uh, I don't know if you can see that's flat and then this one's kind of in like this. You can definitely put glue on these other bits if you want. I don't know that it's super important, so I'm just going to do that, but if you want to put glue like here, you know, I would just be careful with that. I'd put a little there maybe. Um, but they're just showing you to put glue on that very base because see how it kind of came out there. And kind of just hold them straight. You can see that if you push it in too far, it'll go in quite a bit, so if you just kind of Hold it flush. And then again, this one. Like I said, if you want to put a little glue on that little bit that overlaps, go for it. Oh, hopefully that was in frame. I'm just curving this under. And now it nestles right in. Isn't that awesome? How cute is this? I mean, you can use this for other things, just to make like a little fun frame. Put the glue there, a little bit there. Bring that in. I am doing a couple at a time, which actually is really nice because then you can see if this needs to come in a little bit more or what, right, to get this tucked nicely. Right there, and then that tucked a little bit more. That way the glue is still wet and you can still kind of manipulate it. And then the last one. A little glue there. And, ooh, interesting. So this last bit that's right here, I can kind of tuck it under as I do this. Push it under this one. Oh, let's get that glue tab in. <laughs> there we go. And make sure it's on top of this guy. So that last one I am overlapping on top of that under this. And that looks really good. So I'm just going to hold these guys down until they're about set up. I mean, they're pretty much set up just because I'm using Nuvo. But there we go. I'll hold that down. Hey, guys. That is really nice. I'm loving this little tray. How cute is that? Um, if you're doing what they call the helter skelter one, the one that has like the little stairway, you're going to want to cut um, another piece, I believe, from this one, and then just glue it on top so that you're 
tower doesn't go inside, but just kind of sits on top. Um, but for now, I mean, I can kind of show you what that looks like. This goes in here. How cute is that? Of course, we can glue it down. And then this guy's gonna go on top of this, and I haven't really quite trained that yet. And, you know, obviously we use our dies, but we're also gluing things together by hand, so there's gonna be a little variability. Oh, that looks good. I'm getting caught on something right here. There we go. So that's part of our towers right there. And so we need our very top tower. So I'm going to cut this out of red paper and, um, you know, depending on what you want to do. So the lighthouse top, um, oh, that's so cute. Okay. So we need this. And if you want to cut pieces into this, so obviously it looks more open and things, I am going to just go ahead and use this one. And as you can see, I'm going to cut this out. So I'm going to put this on my paper. I'm going to use some red paper. I'm going to just tape that down to my paper. I don't have the red paper here. Well, let's just pretend this is it, but this isn't it. <laughs> I would put this down like this and I would tape this right in the center. Now you don't have to do that. I'm building it in, but you can also just use these pieces, how they have these guys. And then just run this through whatever color paper you would want and accent it that way, you know? Um, but I'm going to build it into that. Um, so we have that. They have a couple different, you know, windows, different shapes, different things you can use. What looks like doorways. But for a lighthouse, this is what I'm going to use. So we're going to need three of this lantern because it has two sides, right? Where these guys were just one side at a time. So I'm going to need three of this. I'm going to run it through and then I'll cut out the three and then I'll remove this because that'll be taped and I'll just leave it. And then on my die cut itself, I'll run it through. So I'll come back and tell you what, what I mean by that or show it to you. Um, you also need, oh, okay. So <laughs> what they're calling a gallery deck, which is so cute. It's going to be this piece right here. Oops, sorry. And so it goes around the top all around like a little area that the person can walk. How cute is that? So uh, we need three of this. I'm going to cut it out of black paper. And then the gallery floor, I'll probably also cut out of black paper, and that is this piece here. How cute. And these little tabs will make sense in a minute, because basically we're gonna have this on here, and then part of this guy is gonna go through both pieces. But either way, we need one of these and three of these, and I'll cut them out of black paper, and I'll be right back. So we have our gallery deck, and then this topper part. And these guys, we're just gonna glue them together, but for right now, I'm just going to, again, get my glue tabs going. And I guess I did use that red paper. I just used it as a sample, but I was like, oh, this is pretty red, actually, so I had plenty of it. So we're gonna glue those together, but first we're gonna glue these guys together next to each other. So let me just get all those glue tabs um, scored. And I'll go ahead and glue these, or not glue them, but get these guys going, too. Okay, so we're gonna have that, and then I believe, um, I think we're gonna use this too. Just trying to see if we need to glue it in or out, but something like that, right? Because they're basically gonna go along this. Okay, I'll so let's just glue these guys on the sides here. And this one to this one. And it's interesting because there is uh, a score line here, and then we're attaching those together there, but it's just going straight down. And after we put those together, we're going to adhere the top bits, and then we'll work on that little railing. So again, just right along the edge. Generally, we'll wait for that to really come together. And I'm just going to put some glue there on this last one like this, okay? Last bit, I just put the glue, I'm just holding it here, so. Alright, and then we're going to put these tabs together up at the top. So I'll do probably a couple at a time. To kind of bend those back. I can get my fingers in here. And this guy needs to come up this way. And I'm just holding it. Of course, you can put your hand on the inside there. And then this guy, too, since I'm already here, might as well <laughs> hold a couple at a time. And that's what I'll do. I'll put some glue. And basically, your hand being able to go in here is really what's going to help you out. And then just bring it all around, just like we've been doing. And it'll look like this when I come back. I just applied glue on the tab that was there and then the tab that was going to tuck in here. And I just brought it in. And I'm just going to continue holding it again. My fingers are on the inside, helping that stay together. 
and I'll wear it. How cute is that? And you know what? While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and just glue this down. Just where we think it looks the nicest. Okay. And I'll put that to the side now. And then these guys we're going to glue around here. And I'm going to glue it underneath. I mean, it, you know, it's whatever you want. I think it looks best underneath. So, I'm just going to, well, actually they want you to glue it side. Well, okay. In the instruction, you know, they're showing you to glue the these guys first. Um, the tabs. So you have the whole long strip. But I went ahead and just did what I did, so here we go. <laughs> and it's just whatever's easiest for you. Just go there. And then this one I'm going to put glue here. And the glue again on the inside tab, like on this top part. And I'm going to place that there. This guy here. And down here. So I'm handling those three tabs at the same time. When if you had just put it together in one long strip, you would have that and then you just come around. That's really cute. Oh my goodness. Make sure that looks nice and matched up there. Looking good. And I'm kind of working uh, a couple sections at a time because when the glue is still wet, you can make some adjustments if needed. So I always want to do that if I need to. Especially with a shape like a hexagon, sometimes it gets a little wonky, you know? So, like right now, I'm gonna put that there. Put this one down here. And then go ahead and make sure that this is adhered on the glue tab on the side. Cute, okay. And then I have one last glue tab here that I'll kind of tuck in. I think for me that just made more sense as far as putting it together because then I knew exactly you know where these blue tabs need to touch and all that instead of possibly having to make them stretch later. <laughs> so there we go. I'm gonna let that set up before we pop this in here. These little glue tabs, these little tabs here are gonna hold it securely in place, but I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, my friends, I just realized I forgot to put the other um, that die back in. I wanted to show it to you and I left actually I was sitting at my couch and die cutting and that's why I love the dies over there but uh, basically after you have that piece you are just taking uh, the die and then your die cut and then put the little piece on here just the piece you don't have to put the whole die obviously from the outside just that inlay and run it through again this actually looks pretty cute so I'm probably just gonna leave it like this um, but another thing we can do is also just take our windows and just make another set of windows right so take this with the inlay die and then have some little bits I would put on top and maybe cut this out of yellow paper by itself so it's a background and then maybe this with the inlay that shape and black or gray or something to accent and then you would put that on top It'd be really cute I am so sorry <laughs> I was just like woo let's go <laughs> aye, aye, aye. okay um yeah so I'm gonna leave it like this actually I think that's very cute so uh let's see you also have windows, other windows, doorways, all kinds of fun things that you can pop in wherever you would like to. Um, what I want to see is this piece. I think I'm going to do accent pieces. We have our different pieces here with these guys. Now, it's funny because I was like, well, let me just go ahead and glue this down because I was here and I just glued it down. But you might want to wait and see where, how big this is, but it's going to slide right in there, so that's okay. So I'm going to use this guy and this on red paper just to accent bring some more red back in here and of course I'm going to tape those down and I'm going to cut out um, six of them. I'll do all six. You don't have to. I mean you can just do mix and matches whatever as you want, would like. And then with this guy I'm also going to do the same with the red paper. Ooh, how a black and red. That'd be really pretty too, right? Some black and some red. But anyway, uh, I think I'm just going to stick with the red. So we're going to do this also. Six of these guys that go on this smaller portion. And then whatever decorations you want to do to this, of course, it'd be easier to do before you push this in here, right? Um, but for now, what I'm going to do is just have that, you know, we have these little flags. I mean, there's so many cute things. The little flag goes with this portion. But I'm sure you can cut it down in a fun way and pop it in there if you wanted to. Um... So I'll cut these guys out, and I think that's it, because I'm not going to do anything more to this one to decorate it. I just wanted to show you I should have 
done that inlay, sorry guys. Okay, so we're gonna push this through here. So I'm gonna get these tabs ready. And it does say to glue them. And I think that's gonna be harder to do afterwards. So I'm gonna put the glue on it right now, on these little bits. So basically just a little glue, I already bent them to help me out. Oh, let's get this glue going. Come on, buddy. Let me see if I got that going. Oh, yep, and a little too much now. Wipe that off somewhere else, okay. So a little there, a little there, a little there. It's, you know, just to hold this down. And I only bent it just a little bit so I have some pressure, so when I push this in, it will have some give. And I suppose, and the, okay, I put the glue on there. Obviously it's gonna get on here a little bit. Uh, that doesn't bother me, it's gonna dry clear anyway, but you just wanna pay attention and see how far in do you want this pushed. And again, we're gonna play with that a little bit because although we used our dies, we did glue this in a way that we did that. So how high up do you want these bits? Kinda would like mine just in that same area where those glue tabs stopped. So yeah, I'm just gonna push that back down here. I'm just kind of pushing it back down about there. Looks good. And I'm just going to take a moment to hold these, making sure that they make contact. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Oh. Pop this over here. And so we have this guy, and then I have my decorative pieces. So all six sides here. Just gonna see kind of how these would fit on here. Again, you could have done this when they were flat. I like to decorate mine when it's up, popped up. I don't know, just a habit. <laughs> and so let's see, something like that. Okay, you just want to see about where they need to be. And I'm just gonna glue them all down on all six sides. So just, and I chose these decorations. Obviously, there's other ones that we discussed. And I think I'm also gonna add some like little port, like window or door looking areas on these and that would just be taking some of these other little decorative bits and cutting out some things so we have like these smaller ones we have like this one's a little bit larger so i think i'll cut some of these out of black and just put them here and there or gray something that makes it look like a doorway or like a opening um, and i'm gonna glue these guys down here just kind of centering them you know within the space allotted there and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I just put this back on top just to kind of see where I'm at. So now I have some little windows and cute things that we can just, or doorway, I don't know, just the uh, accent pieces. So uh, like on this bottom here, I think I'll take a little bit of a, this one, make it look like a, kind of like a doorway I suppose, down here. And then I just cut three of these larger ones and three of the smaller ones and I'll just tuck them in opposite places. Like if I have that there, then maybe up here I'll put this little kind of window piece or something or a doorway I don't know accent piece okay and I'll just go opposite so I'll do another one here and another one here so I'm skipping every couple and maybe popping them in different parts of the little window area okay I'll be back. accents in there really sweet um, I think the staircase is really fun too and then we have this gorgeous topper now uh, let me see I haven't obviously try to put this on and I think the red goes over the white part so let me take this off these are still really wet the windows so I'm gonna try to do this without messing with that I don't know if this is gonna on the inside or outside that's what I'm trying to figure out it seems to me like it would go on the inside so this top bit obviously just closes everything off I mean look how cute how cute is that just by itself look how cute this is a little mini one. Oh my gosh that's adorable <laughs> it's really cute so there you go uh, with a topper and then this can sit on top of this and again I'm just kind of giving it a squish to get that in there and just a little squeeze to clear all the different glue tabs and there you go just a really nice project now let me tell you how big this is as far as the height I mean you can fill this whole thing up with candy there is no base in this middle one I'm assuming you can probably fashion something if you really want to put a base in there to have like a different type of candy up there than down here or whatever it is that you place in there um, this guy is just over nine inches tall I would say and like this bottom section is like three and 
a quarter I would say by the time it actually hits the base there and this middle section here is just about three inches tall and then the little top bit so again you can put lots of different candies in there just start piling them in or just take the lid off and then just put them in so it fills up the whole thing or you just have a really cute decoration so there you go guys thank you so much Tonic for sponsoring this video for sending these items for review what a fun project um, really sweet again lots of different ways to dress it up I went lighthouse today yes. so. so I will go ahead and um, have the links in the description box. I'll have some images coming up, excuse me, and I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.